Good news, job market is looking better. We are hiring lot of solutions architect at AWS. However, the AWS solutions architect interview process has been changed recently. In today's video, I'm going to go over each stage of the interview process as well as some of the mistakes that I see candidates do. How do I know all about this? Hello guys and girls, my name is Raj. I'm a principal solutions architect working at AWS. And before that, I was a cloud architect at Verizon. Within this last 10 years of my cloud career, I have interviewed hundreds of people and I have mentored my students to get cloud architect job at top tech companies, including at AWS. All right, let's get started. Now remember, AWS gets massive number of candidates. So every time you interface with someone from AWS, you have to bring your A game. The first point of interaction is with AWS recruiter. Even though this is not a formal interview round, you should aim to impress the recruiter. One of the mistakes that I see people do is, as soon as the recruiter conversation starts, they ask about how much money is AWS gonna pay. Each position at AWS has a huge band and that is determined by your performance in the actual interview. However, the recruiter is gonna ask you about your experience, about major projects that you have delivered, why you are looking to get into AWS, etc. So focus on answering those questions. Highlight any lighthouse or critical projects you have done. Once you pass the whole interview, then you will have chance to negotiate the salary. Okay, let's say your recruiter conversation goes well. Then it can go in two paths. In one path, you will be asked to do an online assessment. But if you are already working in another top company, such as Google, Microsoft, etc., you may be able to skip this round. However, you cannot negotiate this round. Hiring manager decides whether you should take the online assessment or not. For most of the people, they will take the online assessment. This is a filtering process. When I joined AWS, six and a half years back, this step was not there. However, we get so many number of candidates these days, this online assessment filters some of the candidates. Let's talk about it. This online assessment is non-proctored. There will be no live AWS interviewer watching you take this test. Recruiter will send you a link to this online test in an email. You can do it within any time of your convenience. As soon as you click and start the test, you will get around one hour to complete it. However, you can pause the test, take a little break, and then come back and resume. There are two big sections of this online assessment, technical and behavioral. In both sections, you will be presented with different scenarios, and based on the scenario, you have to select some answers. For example, for technical part, it may say, you have to prepare your application for a high-scale traffic day. How will you do it? then you have to select the appropriate options. Similarly, for the behavioral part, you have to keep the Amazon leadership principles in mind. Sometimes a mistake candidates do is, they focus too much on the technical part and not much on the behavioral part. Make sure to study the 16 leadership principles that Amazon has, go through them, think about it a little bit, and then answer accordingly. For the technical part, in some cases, you may be asked to choose couple areas from options. For example, you may be given option to choose from compute, database, security, machine learning, automation, etc. Couple of these areas to get the questions from. For some of the candidates, they get this option to choose the competency. For some of the other ones, they don't get. The team and the hiring manager decides this. Your recruiter should be able to tell you whether you should have to pick couple options or you should go in prepared for everything. This online assessment is not really difficult. So if you actually studied AWS or let's say if you have a solutions architect associate certification and you actually studied AWS and not just memorize some exam dump and use that to pass the certification, you should be fine for this online assessment. All right, let's say you pass this online assessment, then you will go to actual interview rounds. The first round is telephonic interview. This is true for all rounds in Amazon whenever you are giving an interview. There will be only one interviewer asking you the question. There will never be a case where there will be multiple people asking you questions at the same time. Most of the times, there will be just one interviewer. 
Sometimes there might be another person shadowing or reverse shadowing. The telephonic interview could be one hour or could be 90 minutes. If it is 90 minutes, expect more behavioral questions. If it is one hour, it will be mostly technical, maybe one or two behavioral questions. This can change anytime you go for an interview at Amazon. You should always be prepared for both the technical part and the behavioral part. Sometimes recruiter may tell you this telephonic interview will be all behavioral or this technical interview will be all technical. But the best strategy is always prepared for both. Most of the times when we take telephonic interview, we always mix in behavioral and technical. Now one big tip is let's say all your experience in some specific area. Let's say you are a database guy and you have done a lot of projects with microservices with database. Expect questions outside of your core depth area. Even if you have worked with microservices and databases, you may get questions on DevOps, like what is DevOps? What is CI? What is CD? You may get questions on what is RAG? We will not go super deep on these external areas, but as a solutions architect, we expect you to be aware of all the new things that's happening. Why? Because solutions architects work with customers all the time. And sometimes, even though customers said they want to talk about some databases, you jump into the call, and customer may say, oh, I just saw this new GenAI announcement. Can you talk to me about it? Especially for general solutions architect, we want folks who have interest in keeping up with all the current happenings. Again, you don't have to go super deep on outside of your competency, but you should know what's going on. All right, let's say you crushed your telephonic interview. Then you will be sent to the infamous loop. If you are finding this video helpful, please click that like button, smash it if that's something you are into and subscribe. And if you want a free cloud interview prep where I have given many different questions, the bad answer and good answer, different system design, check out the link to my free newsletter where I share tips, tricks, interview question answers weekly to the free subscribers. All right, back to the video. You could have between four to seven rounds of loop interview based on your level. The most common number of loop is five. Now there could be three different rounds in these loop interviews. Behavioral, system design, and presentation. So let's talk about the behavioral rounds. In the behavioral loop interview, you will be asked questions on Amazon leadership principle. The big difference between this behavioral loop interview and the online assessment is, in online assessment, all the scenarios are fictitious. We are going to tell you that, hey, you are facing this scenario, how will you handle it? But in the actual behavioral loop interview, we will ask you, tell me a time you faced this. For example, one of the very popular question is, tell me a time you went above and beyond. So obviously this is a customer obsession question. You cannot say, Oh, what I will do is, I will do a weekly call. I will do this, I will do that. Instead, you have to talk about an actual project where you have gone above and beyond. Another big tip is, of course, you have to follow the star format, situation, task, action, results. Most candidates talk a lot about the task and the actions. Don't do that mistake. You also have to set the context, basically the situation as well as the results. You should have some data-driven metrics in the results. Let's say, for example, you talk about some critical project you have delivered, and then you say, as a result, I got kudos from my vice president and I got promoted. That's not really a data-driven result, right? Because getting kudos or getting promoted could depend on a bunch of other things in the organization. Instead, you should show some data. How much money did it save? Did time to market go down? Did the number of defects reduce, etc. One good tip that I followed and my students follow is think of all the projects in last three to five years and then try to map it to different leadership principles. Even on the behavioral question, depending on your interviewer, they might dive deep on the technical part. Let's say you talked about securing an application. They might ask you, how did you secure in transit? How did you secure the microservice, etc. 
So make sure you think about your story a little bit deeper and have all the technical details for the follow-up questions. We understand sometimes you might not have different stories for different leadership principles. That is totally fine. You can reuse one particular project for two different leadership principles. Because it's quite natural that for one project which satisfies deliver results, where you delivered something big, it's possible that you also had to learn something new and that would satisfy learn and be curious. However, do not try to repeat the same story over and over again. After all the loop rounds are done, all the interviewers get together in the debrief and then we compare the stories you told us. If we see the same story occurred three times, four times, five times, that's not a good look. All right, let's talk about the system design round. For system design, AWS recruiter will share a link to a software where you can draw some system design. But we give you flexibility. If you are very comfortable using some other software like draw.io, or even you want to draw your system design in a white paper and show it in the camera, that is fine as well. However, I recommend once you get the link from the recruiter, practice drawing it there so that you are comfortable. In the system design round, we will ask you to design a system. For example, YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, Amazon.com, etc. We do not expect you to create a beautiful diagram. It's totally fine as long as you can draw some squares and then explain what is it, that's fine. This is a deeper topic. If you want to know how to approach the system design interviews, check out some of the other videos on my channel that will give you a pretty good idea. Now, the next round was there when I gave interview at AWS, then it was gone. And now it's back in some cases. This is presentation round. Previously, this was the only round where multiple interviewers will be present and ask you questions. However, now you have to present to only one person and most likely to the hiring manager. And this presentation round will also be part of the loop round and it is not going to take the full one hour. Expect to present for 25 to 30 minutes and then the hiring manager will still ask you some behavioral question rest of the time. This presentation round is kind of optional, depends on the hiring manager. So in your loop, you may get it or you might not. The recruiter will ask you to create a presentation on a project that you have delivered. Now, one mistake candidates do is they think the presentation of the project must be on AWS. That is not true. Even if you delivered a critical project in on-premises, totally fine to use it. What we are evaluating you is your presentation skill, communication, and how do you handle follow-up questions. As a solutions architect, we present a lot to the customers. And sometimes we get tough questions. We want to see how you handle those questions. Do not try to make up a project because you will get tough follow-up questions. If you just make up a project, you won't be able to handle those follow-ups. Another tip is at the end of each interview round, the interviewer is gonna ask you if you have any questions for them. Please have some questions for them. It shows your interest in the position and your interest in knowing the team and the culture. And the last thing I will say is, a lot of you are scared of applying to AWS. Please don't be scared. At the end of the day, this is a process. So if you master the process, you will crack the interview. If people think you cannot switch career or get into big tech like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, this is your chance to prepare hard and prove them wrong. Hopefully I get to see all of you inside Amazon. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Bye.